one of the key partners in building healthy watersheds is the beaver. And the beaver is uh, a force of nature, literally, um, when it, called an ecosystem engineer or a keystone species. It has literally shaped the landscape of the country and particularly here in the western United States. Uh, we're missing beavers in many of the places where they once lived. By the time Lewis and Clark got here, the fur trade had already removed beaver from all of these tributaries and waterways. Today we were putting in beaver mimicry structures in an alpine meadow and a, an area that historically had beavers and so we were just sort of plugging up holes in the old structures and able to create a lot of natural water storage in an area that historically had that naturally. To spread out that water, hold a little bit back, recharge the groundwater and keep it for times when it's more needed later in the season. And really we're just creating just like a beaver would, you're just creating a, a leaky structure that slows the movement of water downstream, catches sediment, because that sediment will pile up in front of this structure and build up the base of the stream so that this stream starts flowing a little bit higher up so that at a really high flows, it'll start spilling over its banks, sort of wetting more of the landscape. One of the biggest benefits of beavers at work or people doing beaver work is holding water back, slowing it down, letting it spread, connecting water with its floodplain, which makes for a healthier environment overall and improves the conditions of the water as it goes downstream. Think of a hydrograph in western Montana generally. There's a big spike in May and June, and then it just is like straight downhill, you know, as you get into July and August, as that water really is just leaving the landscape and, and moving downhill. By creating these structures and where you see beaver influenced streams, that hydrograph, the top peak flows is much more rounded and it lasts longer into the year because you're storing all that water in the soil and, and the water is moving more slowly through the system. So beaver mimicry is sometimes by itself a, a really valuable education and restoration tool. And in other cases, it's a stepping stone to providing a place for beavers to recolonize an area, to get back on the land and do their good work.